Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is um, How does a carburetor work will be the title and thumbnail obviously these three carburetors But we're gonna start out these two are the more common carburetors. This one here uses um, uh, This carburetor here uses diaphragms obviously you got a needle and seat here needle and seat here but we're gonna do the basic overview on how a carburetor works so we will start on this guy here okay so some of them like on your you know Briggs and Stratton lawnmowers and whatever they'll have the bottom screw or on some of these Japan made like this one was made in Japan this one here you'll have these four screws in the corner um, there, a, a carburetor is a very, very, very simple um, thing it, when you when you dig into it. Um, so what you do? So so you got your your throttle is here. Okay, so you got you know you open this up, and this will hook to a twist throttle, or you know it might hook to a, a thumb throttle. In this case, it hooked to a thumb throttle, and this here. Um, gauges your air fuel mix. So you got a little needle in here, right here, that um, this needle here allows the amount of air and fuel mixture into the engine. Now if you look down inside here, if I can get it to show up, you see that little cavity, you can just barely see it down on the inside there. It's hard to do with the camera. Anyway, here, maybe if I do this. There. See this? This valve that's down the center, you just gotta get some daylight. You can see dark daylight. So that needle then, this needle goes down inside that little hole and regulates the air fuel mixture um, how how lean it goes and then you have so as this is going up and down on this particular carburetor I'll just pop this off as that's going up and down you got your you know your air fuel mixture screw and in your idle screw so you got a high and a low and then off this is your intake so where your fuel comes in your fuel this here I mean, is not the fuel intake, it's the overflow. This is the fuel intake. And then this here on the side is just kind of like a cold start feature. I think it just allows a little more gas. I don't really know much about that. But we'll open it up and show some of the internal components. I'll show you what a jet looks like and everything. Some of them look different. Some of them have a plastic tube on the inside. and. And then others just, if this leaks fuel, i got a rag. I'm doing this on cardboard so that you guys can actually see something not on my dirty table. I'm hoping to have something made up where I don't have to be in the shop. I can be out in a shed somewhere and have my tables out there and stuff. So, But, i got to pop these four screws out. Merry Christmas to all you folks. This is filmed on Christmas Eve and it'll hopefully be out Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to all you folks and have a happy holiday season and stay out of trouble and be good. Okay, now some of these carburetors, depending on how long, you know, some carburetors haven't been opened, you know, people take really, really, really good care of them and then they sell them. And then you get the next guy that leaves it out over the winter, right, and it plugs off and they've never been opened up. Because in a factory, they put kind of like a, the, the way the seal is, it's sticky. So it kind of like glues the bowl to the outer shell like this. This one here hasn't been opened in a while. And all you do is just take the back end of your screwdriver, 
and just give it a love tap. There it is, and then pops off. And obviously, so you got the main jet here, fuel comes in, draws down, like, like draws from the bottom in this trough here. It comes in and then comes up this tube and out, and then uh, that's pretty well it. And then you got a main jet down the center, which is your governor, so that pops off. So this guy pops out, and then there should be one more jet on the inside. So this guy, um, on most carburetor cleans, that's the guy that comes up. As you guys can see, there's all of these little... Come on, camera. There we go. You see all these little itty-bitty holes in it? And those get plugged up. And you obviously got to look down the center of it for daylight. Okay, this one isn't plugged up. So then you plug off, you know, one side of it. And you blow through it. And then that cleans out all these little holes. So that's sometimes the main issue on, on carburetors. Now there should be one more. And this one has... No, nope, this one's good now. So this was the only jet in this carburetor. Now there will be a pin in here. Which just gets popped out. There's no real good way to do this properly. Just kind of got to... Oh, frick. I got a smaller screwdriver here. Good thing about a small screwdriver, hey? And you don't want to lose any of these components because then you're not going to get it running in for these. Hey! Sorry about that. My, uh, my brothers walked in and started making a bottle of Shuruka, so I just shut it off. So where we were is pulling out this pin, okay? Now behind this pin, you'll have a needle and seat. And what that does is, and this one's not set, and I'll show you how to set it show you how one's set, but what this does is obviously fuel comes in from here in where the inline is, is right here and um, right here now the fuel comes in through there and the bowl you know sits on there and this this thing goes down the main jet as well or actually a secondary jet, but then uh, the fuel gets put in here, and this is a regulator, so it stops the flow. So you've got a little needle here. This guy. Like a little itty bitty guy. Right, that's that's a decently common size for one. Come on, autofocus. This thing's supposed to have autofocus. There we go. So there's your, as, as you see, the tip of it is very shiny, so it's very worn. But they'll still work. So this is pretty well it for this carburetor. I will show, obviously, you know, you got one more jet right here. And then this guy also needs to be cleaned. And then there's all kinds of ports as well. Um, so how it works is it comes in and it comes out ports and goes in ports and comes out ports and ultimately you you're, it, it comes out the um, so the way this carburetor sits is the smaller side's the air box, the bigger side goes no the bigger or the smaller side sorry goes to the engine, the bigger size goes to the air box, and then um, as you see here you got ports that fuel comes through and uh, yeah, so, and then you got your idle mixture screws here. And this is it. So you pop this out, make sure this is clean, and then you assemble it the same exact way. It's good to, even if you're not a YouTuber, um, one good thing to do is still film yourself doing it. You don't have to talk, but film yourself taking it apart so that if you ever forget, all you do is look at the film on how you took it apart, and then you can just put it back together that way. 
Um, carburetors are, are, hey! Sorry for the noise, the puppy's playing around. Okay, so like I say, this has all been stripped, so you got different valves and ports going every which way and stuff, so. We'll pull apart this carburetor now, and I want to show you this style. So this style here is a jet. This is a jet right here. Hey, be quiet. Get over here. This, this here is a jet. So if this gets plugged up, um, and the fuel can't, because what happens is, is the fuel inside this bowl gets sucked into this jet and then shot up to the top of the carburetor, which comes into the engine. And if that's, you know, doesn't work, then you got some trouble. So this is just a half inch nut on the end. <clears throat> okay, sometimes these get plugged up too, and I'll show you what a plugged up jet looks like. This one's been apart a few times. So this one here is a different style. It's got a ball bearing, but it's still got the holes in the bottom of them. All right, come on, focus. Right there, okay? And it's got four of those, or, or two of them, sorry. You got one and two, and then your, your fuel goes in and then shoots up. And then again, this one here I've had a part recently. This bowl is kind of dirty. It needs to be cleaned, but... Um, you know, these are aluminum, like straight aluminum. So these are a very common carburetor. You know, you get most Briggs and Stratton carburetors, and that's how they come. They mount to the side, and they're very easy to take apart. Now, this one here, I just noticed here, it doesn't have a center jet in it, which is weird, but... I mustn't have put it in there from the last time. Yeah, she's leaking some yummy looking fluids. So, um, again, pop out your pin. And, um, yeah, you pop out your pin. And then, off comes the seal of the carburetor. I'm just going to quickly pop out these two screws. Oh, in this side armor, I guess you could call it, it's where the air filter hooks up. Now this is a, again, a very common style carburetor. They're very uh, easy to work on. Um, and then the third style is from an old chainsaw, so they're a little more rare, but um, basically you you have a pin, like I said, that goes through the middle. And then this guy lifts off. And it should be, when you put that pin in, if you look at the gap in it, so that's with the pin in. See how that sits level? It should sit level. Okay, uh, right like that. If it's up too high or down too low, it'll let too much or too little fuel in it. And it doesn't matter if it's sitting here, you know, going you know, up and down 10,000 times. That's what it's meant to do. You just don't want to flood it with fuel. And this one, this is a different style needle. It's a much bigger needle. So if you look at it, it it's carved like a pencil. See the shape of it? It's carved, you know, like a pencil. Uh, there, and it's a much bigger needle. Now this has no jets, or no um, jets inside. So what happens is, is you, this is your needle and seat here. So it plugs this and opens this, which lets fuel in here. And it goes through this, these jets here. You know, and it comes through, you know, and then it comes up the top. So this one here is a top inflow for fuel, so the flow goes in and then you got your needle and your adjustment screw on the side and then you got a throttle and then a um, one of these bulbs but these don't work good at all and then that's basically it and you got a governor two on the side this one's froze up it always has been but this here 
is a carburetor that has always intrigued me. I'm putting this one back together when I'm done. If you look here on the side, it's a Tillotson carburetor made in the USA. So Tillotson is a really, really good carburetor. Uh, Tillotson makes a, a, a nice carburetor. And, and they make, you know, uh, engines as well, and they're good engines. Um, this was off of a, oh, what chainsaw is that now? It's got no top end in it. I'm searching for parts for it. But this is a cool carburetor. So this here is actually at the top. So the fuel comes in through the top. It, it, it is weird, I know. Um, so it, when it goes in, it sits just like this and then your fuel comes through the top and your needle and seat is here at the top so that's kind of neat and then you know you got the bottom of your carburetor you got your choke and then you got your throttle typical none of it's froze up it's sticky but none of it's froze up some of the jets have been taken out I just thought I would show one of these because they're rare you know it's not too often you come across a carburetor and, and I mean heck YouTube is full of carburetor tutorials you know what I mean how to take apart a carburetor but I think taking apart and then it's not just taking them apart it's putting them back together too you gotta know what you're doing kinda so that it turns out decent and you can actually clean it um, like in this other lawnmower I had that carburetor for probably six years that was from a an old red lawnmower friends of ours brought that I got going but it didn't have the jet in the middle so it constantly was pouring gas into the engine well and I just noticed that now I thought the housing was cracked like I thought there was a crack coming down here but there isn't so it was just didn't put the jet in the center and that and that can and, and I mean carburetor kits are good too but you can reuse your parts, you know, you clean them up, you look after them. Even if you don't need one, you should use a carburetor clean every two years for sure. Just pull it off and clean it out regardless. Hey, what you doing down there? And uh, so this one here is a very interesting. So the fuel comes in through here, goes through this screen, this guy. And underneath this screen is a port that goes in, that's, that pours the fuel in. So this will fill up with fuel here. Pour in, which then, come on. Oh, come on. See if I can get it off. Come on. Comes off there. I know it does. There. Now she's lifting. Oh, there's another screw in it. Okay, that'll do it. You guys are looking at me like this, freaking rocky. And then I'll show you underneath it. There, there, a carburetor is a very simple item to work on. Very simple. And the way the camera is set up is kind of cool too, that you just get an overhead view, but yet I can work comfortably. So the way this works is this is a diaphragm here, and you still got a needle and seat under this, this diaphragm, okay? Because in this diaphragm, in its day, it needs a new one now, but it, it would jump and it would lift up that needle and seat, and the fuel would come in, you know, into this port and would pour and go over into these ports here on this and then it would cycle the fuel through that way um, this is very, I haven't had this thing open in forever so it's all stuck back down again but it's really cool, like this is a really cool carburetor I bet you, you search up, you know carburetors and you can watch a thousand tutorials and nobody will have one of these like these are, are cool rare carburetors don't see many of them I mean a diaphragm carburetor is fun to work on too 
but uh, I'll show you what I mean here. And this one may not have, because this one was ripped apart here a couple years ago. So here's your needle and seat here. Okay, so this here, this guy, pushes, it's not no more, it's, but it did at one point push up and then push back. Okay, and what that was doing was pushing on this, and it was literally sitting here as the engine's running, and it's lifting that needle and seat just like this and then underneath that port it lifts it up goes down the port goes in and comes out the engine and then you got this which is just this is a a, a different and I gotta show you this needle or this the way this is set up because if you look here you'll see this solid um, piece here like see this solid you should be able to there should be a screw there that unhooks that you just gotta look right there, right there, and then uh, that screw just pops out of there, and that's your your needle that's actually in the center. So sorry for the pop. He's just messing around, playing with crap. Hey, leave that alone. Come here. What's this? Okay, and then this pops out and these carburetors are stupid simple I just wanted to show you this style so as you've seen everything went flying but I have everything right here in front of me give it here stay quiet and then this guy obviously pushes down and lifts up your needle and seat so those are a very simple carburetor, very, very simple, so, um, Merry Christmas to all you guys, and, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video, we got a bike, a bunch of bikes coming up actually, but I wanted to get this video out, I found it to be interesting, especially this carb here, it's, I don't see a name, there should be a name, Right there. I don't know the brand name on this carburetor. I know it's a Teleton, but but it's not too often you get to see a carburetor like that. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it it helps many many people learn how a carburetor uh, works and like I always say you know make sure you look or you film yourself taking it apart or or remember and, and they're very simple once you know you do five or six of them you can confidently pull them all apart clean them out and put them all back together you know like the jets you put air through them and clean them out and they're very simple so I'll catch you guys in the next video um, I'm probably gonna take a break here it's the 24th. I'm going to probably be taking a break until January sometime with the filming. And, you know, um, I'll try and get something out before then. I, I know I filmed the first clip of the bike already before I filmed this, but the second clip is coming out soon. So um, that'll be before this. So it'll say Christmas time or whatever, but it, you'll see it in January. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Um, Stay tuned, turn on the post notifications, subscribe, like, and share.